Today on my cheat sheet, I'm going to bust three to four hair myths for you. I don't know why, but a lot of Indian women love to take a pony and then push this up and get that puff. And you'll see that literal, you know, or they'll back comb it and then smooth it over where it looks like almost like an alien skull shape. The modern woman sticks to the natural shape of her head. So I really recommend not depending on that puff. And even if you're doing a ponytail, you want to get the hair as natural as you can. So use your fingers. You can break a brushed texture by using your fingers, get a more a finger sort of texture into the hair and then use your ponytail. You no longer have to pull out an entire big puff and have an elevation in your scalp. You can literally pull out bits of hair here and there. So when you're in profile, you can see light passing through the hair as well. That adds a softer detail to your hairstyle. The next little myth I'd say is about texture. Now, when you use a curling wand in the hair, like I have done, in our model's hair here, and it's particularly in this section. You can see, if I move her hair onto her shoulder, you can see how this one is almost independent because it's not been incorporated into the hair. So you want to really either break it down with your fingers, so running your fingers through the hair. I recommend taking all of your hair, starting with the ends, of course, and then you slowly move upwards so you don't cause too much of a pull or any breakage in your hair. And then you can open up the root and by brushing the hair out, one, you're going to get more volume in your hair. And two, it adds a softness. You can see how brushing the hair out allows you to incorporate one curl into the other, one section of hair into the other. It gets a softer flow. You can run your fingers through it. You can flip the parting. And just like that, you have hair that's more versatile and soft. Another common misconception is that baby hair or the little hairs that grow around the perimeter of the face need to be removed because they just look like broken hair. But that's not entirely true. Now remember that if we didn't have the baby hairs, it would literally look like we've got wigs on. What the hairline does is it softens as it comes onto the face. Any natural hairline, you'll see anywhere that the hair gets softer. If you want to get rid of them for certain styles, you want to clean out the line, all you need to use is either a soft wax or like I like to use, a transparent mascara. So what you do is essentially just run that transparent mascara into the hairline like so. You can see how it, it not only takes away frizz, but also controls baby hair and you can direct the hair to go wherever you like. Also from the sideburns, like so, you can clean out the texture like this if you're doing a nice bun. And you can also use transparent mascara to keep up brow hairs. 